Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, how to go for custom fields with the help of Papi. And as a part of that, we did the full practical and we are able to save the data of the custom fields into the Mara table. With the help of Papi, we are able to save the data of the custom fields and we took the example of Mara table. Now we will go for one of the most, most important thing because whenever someone is doing the practical, they told at the last that they are doing the same to same thing, but I explained but they are unable to save the data of custom fields into the standard table. They did everything, whatever I explained. And that is true also. At that time, what I was doing, I was always, always sharing this link with them and told them, okay, you can connect with your functional person or you can have to do this kind of configuration into your system and after that it will work. Now I'm preparing a video for the same because so many people ask and at the last they are not getting the output. So if you are doing for practice purpose or if you are working in real project, so just follow this particular link. With the help of this link, we need to add these fields into the configuration also. Anyways, it is not our task. It is not the task of a technical person. In the project, functional always, always do this task. You just need to share the name of the fields to the functional person. And after that, it will work as it is. Suppose we added the custom fields to the standard table, this Mara table. Now, after that functional person needs to add these fields in the configuration also. After that, you will get the expected output. So many people ask this particular query at the last and I was always, always sharing this link with them. Okay, go for this link and do this kind of configuration or ask your functional to do these kind of configuration. After that, you will be able to save. Now, now, what is the configuration we need to do? In that case, you need to go to SPRO transaction code. It is always good that you should not touch this particular transaction code. Yes, because if you are doing for practice purpose, it's okay. But in real project, if you are doing, always, always ask the functional person to do this kind of thing. So just go for SPRO transaction code. I will go for SAP reference IMG. Now, now you need to go for logistics journal. Anyways, I will put this link also into the video. So whenever I will put this link into the video, you will get the same to same kind of steps. If I will scroll down, they mentioned yes. You need to go to SPRO transaction code and then you have to go for logistics. After logistics, you need to go for material master, Mater journal material master. We'll go for logistic journal material master. Now, after that, you need to go to field selection. We are not at all doing this if functional has this responsibility. But yes, if you are doing for practice purpose, yes, you want output. Then at that time, you need to do in your practice system. Field selection. After that, you need to go to assign fields to field selection group. Assign field to field selection group. Just click here. Okay. Now, if I will show you, suppose if I will click on to field name. Suppose I am writing Mara hyphen ZZ system. Have you seen this field is added here? If I will scroll up mara hyphen zzm type i added these two fields in this configuration that's why it is working fine for me yes you did everything correct yes but it will not be able to save the data into the mara table because these two fields need to be added to the configuration as well but in real project do not do this thing 
are just 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 come just communicate the name of the fields to the functional person that functional will add these fields to this particular configuration suppose i will delete this and show you how to add suppose i am deleting these two and i am going for save now i will show you how to do anyways i am going for configuration so it will ask for customizing request suppose now it's not there suppose i will go for new entries now just pass the name of the field here field name must be same which you gave into the mara table so what we gave but mara hyphen what is the field name we gave zz system zz system anyways i will share this link also into the description of this video so you can easily easily check now once you clicked on to the new entries yes we clicked on to the new entries we gave the field name after that in the maintenance status you need to pass this value just copy this anyways there is no need for us to go into detail what is maintenance status because this is all functional knowledge yes this is all functional responsibility now go for save once you go for save okay it might ask for customizing request you need to save into the customizing request i will go for save this it's done i will go for back mara hyphen zz system is there now i will go for again new entries now pass the again field name mara hyphen zz m type is this the field i will check zz m type pass the same to same in the maintenance status go for save now after doing these things just in front of these two you need to go for selection group and it is mentioned you need to go for selection group and pass 111 anyways there is no need to go into details what is 111 what is this a b c d something which we put into the maintenance status this all is functional responsibility and why i am covering this because at the last ultimately people are asking the query it is not working for me so i need to share the link with them okay go for your functional and go for these changes so you can do your by your own also if you are doing practice or you can ask your functional person if you are working in real project i will go for save now these kinds of things needs to be done in the system if you want this particular functionality to work yes but it is completely completely a functional person responsibility now what is the summary of this particular video in this video and what is the major motto of this particular video because people do the practical yes but at the last they are not getting the expected output in case of material master whenever you are using the bapi bapi material save data you did everything correct yes but it will not whatever the custom fields you added the data of those custom fields will not save into the database table the same to same fields needs to be added in the configuration as well but it is not a technical person responsibility it is completely a functional person responsibility your task is after you do do all those things just communicate the name to the functional person the functional will add those columns into the configuration so what we did as a part of that we simply went to spro transaction code in spro transaction code you have this particular logistic journal you have material master you have field selection and in the field selection you need to go to assign field to field selection group you need to go to new entries and you need to add the fields there and anyways i will share this link in the description of this particular video also so that at the last you will not stuck anywhere you can handle everything by your own but please please if you are working in a real project 
do not do these kinds of thing by your own take the help of a functional person but yes if you are working in a testing system just do can do these things and after that you can delete once you are able to do the practical for the same so that's it in this particular video thank you